Mike. Are right, your brakes going away? Yeah. Aaron says there's absolutely no brakes. What's your fuel like? Sorry, Mike flag is out, indicating we are working our final lap in this endurance race today. We're shopping for Hoosier snow tires right now because it's snowing out and we're going to be testing this afternoon. I think I need every tire out there right now. I mean, yeah. We need the reins and get the reins tomorrow and the slicks and the set that George gave us. I think I had more, but... Okay, hang on one sec. He's on two. My list is like 21 items long for today. Pretty much all of them deal with getting ready for SEMA. SEMA is a huge opportunity because the more niche type companies like us are there and you get exposure, a lot of people who are racing the cars and really want street performance that right now we just we just have a hard time getting in front of. I'm not going to get overwhelmed. These are um, control arms for the uh, rear of the Camaro. These uh, have been submitted for product of the year with SEMA. They're one of a number of products. I think we did six this year, um, including our carbon drive shaft and some of our sway bars for the Corvette. This is one of the Camaro products that we've done. Full carbon fiber, half the weight of the stock one, twice as strong. Really, it's a great kit, but the, the nice thing about that in terms of this discussion is you eliminate the need for a lot of that negative camber because those bushings deflect so much you lose a full degree of camber just in bushing deflection. This is a dangerous combination. Dog rolling ball next to freshly powder coated display stands. Still got a problem with the tire pressure monitoring system. We just killed it, the, did the kill switch test on it, and it lost the sensors again. So I don't, whatever we jumpered across isn't holding the values. And it's, but this is typical, leading up to any race, this is the way it is. You're, you work on it until you were supposed to have been in the track two hours before that, and you're still working on it and throwing it in the, in the trailer. So that's typical race weekend. This is really what started everything uh, here. We brought these uh, coilovers out at the same time that we brought our original sway bars and uh, they still put us on the map and they, and they keep us there. And we have them on a thousand cars or something like that. We sold a lot of them. This is our uh, newest coilover product that we're adding. This is for the 2010 Camaro. It is a full coilover unit, um, typical to FOT racing. It's gonna feature single adjustability, the adjustment knob being at the bottom, um, just a click type adjuster. It goes on in place of the factory strut. You can see that it's got the height adjustability with the threaded rings on the bottom. It uses a standard coil spring. Inverted monotube design, so it's got this big, beefy shaft up on the top, um, unlike anything else that's on the market. This is going to SEMA. It's gonna get bolted to the stand. Everybody's gonna look at it. I'm thinking that what's going to happen is later today you guys may end up out of the track, assuming yeah. the snow stops. My feeling is we're going to go out there no matter what, even if it's late, because we don't have the alignment stuff, it's all out the track. So okay. we need to do, uh, do this final setup on the car, which isn't going to take long, we just need to do it. Okay. Thought Racing, this is Robin. Thank you for calling Thought Racing, this is Rob, how can I help you today? Yeah, let me pull that up in the system, hang on just one sec. Absolutely. Um, I've got your front and rear Lexan headed to you. It's shipping out today. And all of the mounting hardware left yesterday. This is all the paperwork from Nationals when we set up the, the race car. And since we're going back to square one, we wanted to make sure that we go back to where we were. OK. Um, well, let me, uh, let me get you to one of the guys to answer your question about the torque tube. And then if you want to order the offset mounts, I can help you with that. One 
session. It's from 9 to 10.30. That's all of, that's the only thing we've got tomorrow morning. Okay. Um, and then the race. So are you ready to go out? We've got to be there. Because you. Yeah, we want to be ready you and go fueled. Out and make a shakedown run, and then the make sure it feels right, and then let George, George drive, drive for a while, and then I'll come back in and he'll come back in and I'll go out and qualify it at the last minute. Yep. So I don't have to do three changes, which will be good. We can practice driver changes with that. Yep. Um, yeah, that'll work fine. If these tires go, please be prepared for blocks, debris, and stuff. We've never done this, so we're not sure what's going to happen. system it goes into a fault mode doesn't let you turn it turn traction control and stability control off so it causes lots of havoc on the track so the tire pressures are all back I don't want to get here tomorrow morning and have to do this again if we're gonna to have to do this I want to do it I want to put them on tonight and we'll drive it around in the morning and swap them out you can see from the look of this car, there's no graphics to amount to anything on this side. Um, we were on the last lap of the final race, and I was passing for the lead, and uh, the Viper that I was passing uh, went four wheels off on the outside of the turn and spun into me. I broke the rocker, wiped out this door and this fender, bent uh, some of the suspension on this side. So we've replaced those parts, and now we're here uh, resetting the suspension up again. That's racing. We got the car ready today. We've got it out here at the track. We set the alignment. Got the electrical system straightened out for the most part. Um, we're still a little concerned about the tire pressure monitoring system, but we'll be ready for tomorrow morning. We have a practice at nine o'clock. Car will be ready. We got it fueled up. See what we can do in the race. <laughs> 